Hello, how are we all? I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we would sit down and talk through my, let's say, best of beauty in February. I write a blog post on it every month, so I thought it might be quite nice for me to sit down and talk you through the products. Leave a link in the description to the blog post if you fancy read, and all the products will be linked in there as well as in the description down below. I'm actually wearing a full face of some of the products that I'm gonna mention throughout this video. I did film the full look for my Instagram, so it will be on my Instagram reels when this goes live. So head over there if you want to see the full look. I tried to film with a blank wall behind me, but it just looked too dark. So this is a bit of a makeshift background we've got going on. It's a bit more of a relaxed kind of vibe. So let me know if you prefer that. But I'll have a little play around. So this might change in the next video. <laughs> I've got a box full of goodies here, so let's get into it. We're gonna start with complexion, and the first product I want to talk to you about is the Glossier Stretch Fluid Foundation. Now, they launched this last year, I believe, and it's been sat in my stash for a couple of months, but I just hadn't got around to trying it, and I'm so mad at myself for not trying it sooner. This is such a beautiful foundation. It's a light to medium coverage foundation with a natural finish. It's not too dewy, it's not too matte. It's kind of like a natural satin finish. I mean, I'm wearing it now, you can see how it just allows the glow to come through. The formula is like a gel to cream texture, not super watery. It's also 89% skincare based. I love how many brands are starting to blur the lines between skincare and makeup. So if you're looking for a foundation that's more on the natural side, I would definitely have a look at this one. Next up, we have another foundation. This one's by Burberry Beauty how luxurious this packaging is. It's the Burberry Beyond Wear Perfecting Matte Foundation. And I have the shades 10 Fair Warm and 60 Medium Neutral. Neither are quite my shade. I did use this in a TikTok recently and I mixed the two together and it worked fine, but I will definitely be looking to pick up my exact shade in this because it is gorgeous. If you're someone that prefers a more matte foundation, but you can find that they often look cakey or cling to dry areas, you might wanna check this one out. Okay, with this one, it's more of a medium to full coverage, but you can also really share it out. So very versatile. It claims to have 24 hour wear. Now I don't wear my makeup for that long, so I can't speak on that, but I did find that it wore really nicely throughout the day. It kind of blurs the skin and gives more of like a velvety finish to it. From matte foundation that can be worn as full coverage, it feels very lightweight and breathable. For concealer, it takes a lot to win me over. Follow me for a while, you'll know that the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer is my ride or die. But I've been making a point to branch out and try more concealers recently. This one by Kosas is a dream. It has a really creamy texture and it's also infused with hyaluronic acid, caffeine and peptides to really hydrate. You can see the coverage that that has. I say not settling into fine lines, every concealer will. <laughs> I've said this before, but some concealers do it less than others and this definitely is one of them. It just ticks all of the boxes for me. <laughs> Next up, another Glossier mention. Maybe I'm turning into a Glossier girl. <laughs> I've extended their Cloud Paint range to bring us bronzers, which I was very happy about. Their Cloud Paint blushes are brilliant. They've got such a beautiful shade range and they're so pigmented, but really easy to use and super blendable. So I was very happy to see that they'd launched bronzers. I have the shades Sail and Swept. So Sail is great for fairer skin and Sail is better for when I have a bit more of a tan. Same gorgeous formula, super happy that they've brought them out. Onto blushes, Say launched some new shades in their Dew Blush. And Dew Blush they are. This is shade Baby, which is a gorgeous, cool toned baby pink. And this is Poppy, which I'm wearing today. And the glow is definitely coming through from this product. It's a liquid cream formula with a big doe for applicator, which makes it so easy to apply. A little bit goes a long way with this, but they blend really easily. So if you do apply too much, just keep blending or go over with your foundation brush. Also don't find that they lift the products that you've got underneath. I know that some liquid formulas can often lift what you've got underneath. These are winners from me. Now another cheek product, the Armani Beauty Fluid Shears. Now I wanna do a dedicated video on these, because I feel like they could be quite an intimidating product if you don't know how to use them. If you've been here a while, you know that I love a multi-purpose product and these are exactly that. These are three of my favorite shades. We have number two, which is a gorgeous shade I like to use as highlights. You can also mix this in with your foundation. Look how beautiful that is. To give more of a dewy look. You could also wear this alone underneath your foundation. Some of the ways that I like to use this one. Shade 10, which is more of a bronzy shade. When I've got a tan, this alone looks gorgeous to bring that sort of sun-kissed glow to the skin. Also really nice is a sort of bronzer topper. So I'll usually squirt a little bit on my hand, load up with a beauty blender and dab onto the high points of my face where I want that sort of sun-kissed look. But again, with it being multi-purpose, if you have deeper skin, it might look really gorgeous as more of a highlighter. Find that your foundation is too light, you could mix a little bit in with it and it'll give it that sort of warmth. Just a really, really great product. And then this is shade number eight, which I like to use as a blush topper. And because it has that sort of sheen through it, it also acts as like a highlight. 
So again, I like to use this with a beauty blender and kind of dab on top of my makeup to give a kind of glass-like topper finish to the skin. But again, I feel like these deserve a video of their own. I might do one over on TikTok, so let me know if you'd like to see that. If you watched my most recent vlog, you may have seen me mention these very briefly. It's a Shantakai's Cita... C... <laughs> Such a mouthful. Shantakai's Sea Turtle Collection eyeshadow palettes. They're... Whew, I said it. They launched a cool tone eyeshadow palette and a warm tone. I'm wearing this one right now, actually. I used the middle shade all over my eyelids. Then I did a touch of this goldy shade just in the center and on the inner corner. And I went over the eyeliner I've got on with this more khaki green, which has a gold shift to it, which makes it super wearable. And I've just added that along sort of my lash line and underneath just in here. They're so gorgeous and such a collector's piece. It was a good month for mascaras. <laughs> I have so many mascaras in my collection, but I find myself just using the same one over and over again. So like concealers, I've been really trying to branch out and try more in my everyday routines. And these three were winners for me this month. YSL Lash Clash is one of my favorite mascaras ever. I love the brown shade they've got, the black one. It leaves your lashes super fluffy and voluminous. And they've just launched the black one in waterproof. So if you're someone that loves a waterproof mascara and you already liked the YSL Lash Clash or you wanted to try it but it wasn't waterproof, they now have you covered. It's got a really glossy black finish to it. And when I was cleansing my face at the end of the day, it really took some getting off. L'Oreal brought us another great mascara last month. This is the newest Panorama mascara. If you watched my last vlog, you'll have seen the event that I attended with them. I love the wand on this. This offers great volume, separation and length, which is what I look for in a mascara. So it comes in dark brown, which I need to get my hands on. Last mascara is this one by Burberry Beauty. I love how curved this wand is. It's a really buildable mascara, so it doesn't apply too much product, which is usually the cause for clumpy lashes, which we don't want. I feel like it just distributes the perfect amount of product. With the wand being so curved, you can really get into the root of your lashes and comb it through. I think it's a really great mascara if you want more of a natural look, but which also really allows you to build it up without going clumpy. I was very, very pleasantly surprised when I tried this. <laughs> Lastly, I wanna talk about lips and you know how much I love lipstick. I own more lipstick in my makeup collection than anything else. NARS just launched their new Power Matte Lip Pencils. And if you watched my last vlog, you'll probably see me talk about these. I tried on one of the bright red shades. I'm wearing the shade Take Me Home right now, which is described on their website as a tan rose shade. I think this one's a really pretty color for spring. So this kind of acts as a lip liner and lipstick in one. It's really creamy, so it glides on really easily. But then when it dries down, it dries down to this matte pillowy finish. It's not completely transfer proof, but it has really great staying power and super easy to reapply. That is it for Best in Beauty February. I hope you enjoyed watching and hopefully learned a few things. If you've got any questions at all on any of the products, please leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. Otherwise, you might also want to check out the blog post which I'm sure we'll have even more details in. But yeah, let me know if you like this kind of video. And if you'd like me to do one of these each month, rounding up my favorite products from each month, then I'm sure I can do that for you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Come join this little family. As always, I will link everything you could possibly need in the description box down below. And I'll see you in the next one.